Paskazia Basabozi has a voter's card, but she won't cast her ballot. She lives at a camp for the displaced in North Kivu province. Fighting between rebel groups and Congolese troops has been raging for years. Basabozi is among 6.5 million people who've been forced from their homes. Many are unlikely to vote. The government has abandoned us. It doesn't care that we're dying. No one even came to tell us how we can vote or if we can vote. Security remains a big issue in this election. Voters also want a leader who can help boost the economy and other basic issues. The same things they demanded in the last election. They say they want less talk and more action. They're frustrated by the high cost of living, inflation and rampant corruption. Access to food, access to shelter, access to education, access to uh, uh, medical care. These, these, are, these are the basis for, for any normal person. And the Congolese people don't have that. The Democratic Republic of Congo is rich in mineral resources and arable land, but it also has poor infrastructure and badly managed cities and towns. And many voters say the country's wealth does not reach them. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Kinshasa, the Democratic Republic of Congo.